This is a trip to see if I can get any more gain from a half-ray vertical antenna by adding a parasitic element. This will be a wire supported on a second squid pole held at various spacings and positions around the main radiating element. The dimensions I'm going to try are a bit over 5 metres for the driven element and 5.3 metres for the reflector or if I want to try director instead 4.8 metres. The driven element dimensions aren't so critical as I'll be using an antenna coupling unit. This is the driven element, vertically polarised and here's 5 metres of thin insulated wire. This is the VK6 beacon. You saw that a couple of videos ago when I actually visited the beacon site. VK8VF is also audible. Here's the second element. It's about 5.3, 5.4 metres long, so that's going to be the reflector. The Perth beacon is over there. Moving the reflector behind it should have given an increasing signal, but it made hardly any difference. Just making the element horizontal where it shouldn't interact with the main element and vertical. Also adjusting the spacing. And there seems to be hardly any difference in signal. What I'll now do is cut a bit off this element and make it a director. The director is normally 5% shorter than the driven element, in contrast with the reflector, which is 5% longer. It hasn't been all that successful. There are no variations in received signal whether I used the parasitic element as a reflector or a director. Changing its spacing also didn't seem to make much difference. The lesson is that if you want gain, you need to be a bit more rigorous than I have been in this slapdash experiment. Beams no doubt work, but only if you go to a lot of effort to install them correctly. If you're only operating portable for a couple of hours in the afternoon, it's probably not worth it. Stick with simpler antennas, for instance, dipoles, verticals, N-feds, or at most, half squares or delta loops.